hello guys uh, welcome to co academy guys when setting prices uh, a company or marketers can only operate within a band and that is the price ceiling and the price floor okay so what should be the price feeling or price ceiling or what generally is the price ceiling price ceiling is the customer's perception of value being derived from a product for example if 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 you are selling a beauty soap and uh, you customers perceive that a customers perceive that a customer perceives that no matter what the quality okay no matter what the quality uh, i won't pay above 10 dollars just for a beauty soap so that means that that is the value perception about the product of a particular customer so if you are going if you will charge uh, above 12 dollar or 10 dollar whatever the perceived value and let's suppose it's 10 and if you charge let's suppose 11 dollars the customer will not buy whatever whatever product specifications you have so that is the ceiling because if you charge above that price there will be no demand for your product and what is the price floor well it is the cost that the company has incurred in making a soap for example if the company incurred the cost of uh, five dollars then no matter what company will not sell it below below five dollars because if if in if even if if even if it sells below five dollars there will be huge demand for the product but the company will not make any profit so it does not make sense to sell the product below five dollars so the band between which a company can charge the price is between five dollars and ten dollars price floor and price ceiling now what companies do is that they charge a range of prices between these two extremes now there are various internal and external considerations for example competitor strategies and prices let's suppose there's another manufacturer who is making beauty soaps and he's he's let's suppose charging seven dollars for the soap uh, now the company has an option he can if company can charge six dollars if, if if they think that they can gain more more market share or if they believe that their market share is stable and the perceived where their perceived value is more than the competitors then they can charge nine dollars so that competitors strategies and prices also come into play then marketing mix and marketing strategies and objectives so let's suppose marketing talking about marketing mix now if the company believes that it's it, it's it's product has a very high value okay talking about we're talking about the product component of the marketing mix or a company believes that its product is widely available okay to everybody uh, or or it believes that it has incurred a lot of expenditure on promoting the product then of course the company might be charging a little more to cover those costs okay so the nature of the product uh, and the market and the marketing mix okay product price promotion placement you cannot charge price in silos you have to look at it in conjunction with other other components of the marketing mix so nature of the market if consumers are more frugal then you will be charging the price nearer the price floor but if the if if, if the if the price of your products is is relatively inelastic okay your your products are such that the customer will buy it no matter what the price then you can charge a higher price you know near the that price ceiling like eight dollars nine dollars so there are host of factors and which come into play when deciding what price to charge but the remember the band the range is the same it cannot go below price floor because it will not make sense and it cannot go above price ceiling because customers will no longer buy it they will think that the product is too expensive to buy so uh, i hope you you gain some insight as to how product is priced and what what options do the marketers have when deciding the price of a product thanks for watching do subscribe to the channel.